Hello everyone and hope you're doing fine. Today in this tutorial I would like to show you how to hit one ball in order to push them in a direction and to hit and push other balls and objects, game objects in your game. So let's imagine you have a you are playing game, you are playing billiard, or you are making billiard game and you have the main ball that you are going to hit it with your stick uh, so this ball should hit other ball to force them inside the goal so uh, for that we need to use that force function so let's start so first sorry uh, so first let's create our plane we need a plane uh, and we need a sphere which is going to be our ball name it to our ball and bring it higher than the screen locate it here and now create three cubes and take all of them and move it up higher than the screen Okay, now put them in front of the ball. Okay, now this sphere, this ball is going to hit this cube. And all of them has uh, gravity. So for uh, in order to have gravity, we need to have the rigid body, not the 2D, the without 2D, because we are in 3D, the 3D environment. Okay, and yes, all of them have equal mass yet. And uh, let's create the script. Let's first save the scene. I I will save it as main scene, and add. C sharp script, name it pushing or forcing, whatever suits you. Okay, now we need to write the hitting function. So if the input is get mouse button down, we can use keys also. And I got to close it. Okay. If we press the left mouse button, we need to get the this that get component get component. Uh, the component that we want to get from this game object that this uh, pushing is going to be attached is the rigid body of our ball and uh, then it kept the letter of course and then add force now write vector 3 dot so I will use the car like you need you, you can use forward or down and left where you want to or even the direction that you hit the stick to the ball but I will just for the sake of the tutorial I will use left and I will multiply with speed uh, I will use a thousand for the speed and I will leave it like this and I will go back save the script and go back to the editor connect the pushing script to your ball and before we change anything else I will just run the game first and uh, make sure all of them have the same mass and all of them have gravity so let's play Oops. Um, we forgot to make sure that our camera has the same view as our scene so press on the camera go to game view and align with you now press the game okay ok 
okay you saw how it hits this ball and it <laughs> left out so if you increase the ball mass it will go slower and but uh, it will manage to push the box further so let's so because it has higher mass the speed it, it needs to have more speed so I will change it to 5000 and come back to the screen uh, come back to the game view play the game and oops, so you saw how the boxes and the ball went down <laughs> they fall down from the screen so hope you understood how to use add forces you can use other things like right also in order to change the direction so thanks for watching Bye.